Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to RWM Finance. My name is Weston McKinley, and our mission here is to try and help everyone achieve financial freedom. So if you've kept up with the videos, then you probably know what dollar cost averaging is, but today we're gonna talk about lump sum investing. This is another investing strategy that I would like to share with y'all. So what is lump sum investing? So lump sum investing is an investing strategy where you deposit all the money you wanna invest at one time. So if you wanted to invest $1,000, you would invest $1,000 at one time instead of you know, investing like say $100 over the course of say 10 months or 10 weeks. So if you were to have a Roth IRA and you were trying to max it out and you needed to invest $6,000, then you would invest the entire $6,000 at one time. By maxing out your Roth IRA, it allows you to get the most out of your money due to compound interest and tax advantages. Lump sum investing allows you to avoid analysis paralysis and it allows you to get into the market quicker. You know, with the analysis paralysis, a lot of people, they get, whenever they're trying to analyze new stocks or new ETFs or new markets to invest in, they they get this paralysis, this this fear, I guess, because they they're, sometimes they invest and then say the investment doesn't go as they planned, then they will start you know, uh, backtrack and they say, man, I should have invested over here. I should have invested in this stock instead of this one where with this lump sum investing, you just invest all that money into one stock and you don't have to avoid, you avoid trying to analyze different stocks and trying to pick which one is the best and investing all in different parts. You just invest at one time and for some people, that, that's probably the way to go, especially if you were to invest in an uh, ETF that mirrored the S&P 500 or that invested in the entire U.S. stock market, then, yeah, lump sum investing would probably be the best, would be a very good strategy for you to use because you'd just be betting on the entire stock market. You don't really have to do any analysis on it. You're not analyzing different companies really because the people that put the companies into that ETF have already done all the analysis. They've already checked to make sure they meet certain standards. So you're really investing in the best 500 companies or the many of the best companies in the stock market when you invest in those ETFs. So I would still recommend dollar cost averaging for consistent investing. So like, you know, if you were to invest $200 every paycheck that you got, I would still I would still recommend you using dollar cost averaging for your paycheck and how however you want to invest off of that. But say you were to come in some money, not really sure how you would come into some money. Maybe it was your birthday or maybe you graduated and you got uh you know, gifts and you receive some money, then I'd say lump sum investing would be perfect for that. But as always, make sure to do your homework and make sure the investing style that you're gonna use is uh, right for you. Make sure it accomplishes your goals and uh, gets whatever you want done. Make sure it gets done. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please scroll down, give it a like and subscribe to the channel below. Make sure to hit that little bell notification. That way you will be notified each time I post a new YouTube video. Uh, follow us on Instagram at RWM Finance. Check out the list of books in the description bar below. Remember that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So tune back in for the next one. As always, thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video.